Hey guys, what's up? Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today I want to share a couple of cool, fun tips that you can do with the new drum player in Reason. So, um, what we're going to do is look into how the drum player can be used to trick out and totally remix all your loops and samples um, and do all sorts of fun stuff like that. So, we've got a rack, Dr. Rex here in the rack. Um, I've just got a basic drum beat on, and let's hit run. Basically just a jazzy, beboppy drum loop. Now if you look at the uh, Rex player, there's no key inputs. So while you can control these various slices, I'll show you here. I'm using my keyboard right now um, to make a beat. Um, or you could draw it in here, for example. And each of those is assigned to a key from like probably C1 or uh, uh, whatever the first key would be. Um, but you couldn't actually use in the past like a matrix to set this up, at least not easily. Um, but now with the players, you can take the drum sequencer, drop it right in, because these eight slices are automatically MIDI mapped to C1 through G1, so. And you could change that if you wanted to. Um, but you could use this to quickly come up with a crazy drum pattern if you wanted. I'm just gonna draw something in. Now Rex tends, uh, is only gonna play one slice at a time, so these duplicates aren't really gonna do much for me. Um, but um, let's turn on a bit of shuffle. Who knows what this is going to sound like, but it will sound like something. All right, and part of the problem is that I've got this at 220 because that was the speed of the loop. So let's drop it down. Let's just change a different preset. Now let's... Um... And let's try another preset. Now let's try a different loop here. And then you could use that to quickly like dial in a really cool beat. Um, so I'll just show you real quick what you could do with it. Um, and there's all these velocity things here. Um, so, um, and then, I mean, if you actually think what you're doing, you'll get a much better result. But what I really wanted to show you is this is not actually the best way to do a drum thing. But if I were to go to some of my things here and then go to like, um, oops. Sample Magic's Melodic Loops, for example. Right, you can stop playing now. Now this, I probably want something with more slices. Um, just because it's not going to trigger as interestingly. Oh, come on. And you can speed up some of these. Um, or slide them. And then if we were to up the tempo. Maybe lower the tempo a bit. And then. Map the LFO to the filter here. Um, change 
change it up with another. Throw some delay on there and you would Now, um, what I'm going to show you now is if we were to, um, well, let's see, let's bounce, let's see what happens if I bounce this in place, because I've got an idea here. Um, but this is all the cool stuff that you can start doing to, once you, um, start experimenting with this player. So... Um, so you've got that, and then what you could do is you could um, throw that into like a sampler, like another Rex, and actually start doing even crazier things, right? So, um, or what we could do is um, so now we've got this Rex loop here, um, and we could open. Is it gonna do a okay, sorry, I didn't want it as a wave. Um so we'll delete that and we'll actually nope, doesn't make it that easy. Okay, so now we've got this new Rex loop here, which is actually what we just played. Now, I mean, that's, oh, come on, let's play that now. Mute you. Okay, so, I mean, already just with like almost no real thought, like if you actually stop and plan this all out, you can get incredible sounds. But I just wanted to show you like, if you've got an afternoon, you can just start playing with chopping up the various samples you've got in interesting ways using a combination of wrecks and the advanced drum players, and then start resampling it to get these just super far out sounds that. Um, throw a filter on it. dog territory at this point. It's the, the filter. Or notch filter. Um, so, anyway, uh, this probably went on longer than necessary, but uh, really I just encourage you to start messing around with the drum player attached to all sorts of things, the drum sequencer. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and to subscribe to the channel so that you'll get notifications of new videos in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.